old church basement. We're doing an acoustic lesson. No intro, no playthrough at the beginning. We're just going to get right into it. So song is in the key of A flat. So we're going capo, first fret, and we're playing the G shapes. So let me walk you through um, the chords we need for this song. So uh, we need the G chord, obviously. And then we need the C at nine. And then we need a D chord. So kind of this D here, and you might see me float to kind of this uh, D major, kind of the three-fingered country D there. D sus to the D. And then we need an E minor. We need a, um, and we can just use a G instead of a G over B. Uh, we don't necessarily need a G over B, so I think the only other chord is an A minor. So when you're playing in the key of G, if you're a beginner, if you're brand new, this is probably going to be the easiest A minor for you because we're keeping these two fingers locked in on the those two strings. So really, you're just say you were going to play your C at nine, just take your middle finger off and then play the bottom five strings. We want to make sure this top string's muted. We don't definitely don't want to play that one. So you can do, you know, that A minor. If you wanted to do a full A minor, go for it. If you wanted to do kind of like this A minor, which gives you that A minor seven sound, but you're still keeping your pinky kind of locked in on that string to let you switch easier to the next chord, you can do that one too. So um, whatever level you're on. There's plenty of A minors you can do just there. So, um, yeah, so let's get into uh, this song, the, the intro and the uh, the verse. So the progression, the chords, um, it kind of seems like it's easy on paper, but this one, I don't know, maybe something foggy was going on up here, but it took me a little while to figure out the timing um, of these chords. So the chord progression, C, G, quick E minor, and then a D sus to that three fingered kind of D minor, uh, D major. So you'll play that chord progression twice for the intro, and then you'll play it four times for the verse. So the song is in 4-4 four, four timing. This is going to be the easiest way we can break down the strumming on this. Um, you know, you could, you could pick these strings if you want the, the chords if you wanted to because it's really just kind of those keys in the beginning but um, for strumming purposes 4-4 four, four timing so we're gonna count to four and we're gonna repeat so one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four so the C is gonna get one two three G four one two starting over after four so one two three four one two e minor three four the d one two three four one two three four so one two three four one two one two three four one two three four one two one two one two three four one two it's tricky. It's tricky to figure out. It's tricky to explain. Listen for the keys. The do, 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 do. So just if, if this would help even a little bit better, you're doing three down strums on the C, three down strums on the G, two on the E minor, and then eight on that D sus. And I think maybe if you're a beginner, there's a lot going on here, so we might even want to skip that D sus to the D. Just, just, just hammer that D sus and just kind of make it easy. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. When you hear this, it really probably doesn't even sound like the song. At least, it, you know, it's not really sounding like the keys. But I'm telling you, once you play it a couple times with the recording, 
you'll be able to follow along and just kind of practice. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, one. It's tough. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's the best we can do here on this verse. I'm not gonna sing through the through the lyrics and through the uh through the actual verse because the guitar part is challenging enough to get that kind of rhythm in your head. So that's going to be your chord progression for verse 1 um, and verse 2. Things get a little bit easier here in this chorus. So it goes C, G, D, E minor. And then C, G, D, G. And then it will repeat that cycle except for the last time through, it goes A minor, G, D, G. So let's kind of walk through this. Hallelujah, it's all I need. Na, 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 na. Love for me, the joy of my salvation is coming back to me. It's just an old hallelujah. So let's start from the top of that chorus. Hallelujah, hallelujah is all I need. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Next line, when I think one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Third line, same thing. One my so the oh the joy of my salvation. One, two, three, salvation. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So A minor, hallelujah, with a new melody. We can throw a C in there in between, but to be honest, this the, the strumming and the, the changes, they're kind of tricky enough. So let's just let's keep that C at nine out of the chorus. So that last line, it's just in old hallelujah with a new melody. So let me just play through that chorus without singing, um, just kind of the rhythm. these o's are going so many songs so many i mean amazing songs on this album but that's just going to be kind of that same progression you're you're going with there so the one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three So just that that little you know the O's part of that I guess we'll call that post chorus um, or interlude we'll just we'll go with post chorus so you'll do that twice so um, if you're still tracking if you're still with me um, we've got verse two same as verse one chorus two same as chorus one they do that post chorus again um, after chorus two and then we get to the bridge. And the bridge chord progression is going to be C, G, C, G. And then we go back to the um, 
the chord progression for the chorus. It's just an old hallelujah with a new melody. So that should be at least familiar from, from us doing it in the chorus. So, great is thy faithfulness, the Lord unto thee, Lord unto thee. Just an old hallelujah with a new melody. So, um... Yeah, we do that progression four times total. So let me just kind of play through. I'm going to walk you through the strumming for that, and then I'll just kind of uh, do it as if I was playing it. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So you may need to just like, I've got a pen and a paper to like, you know, to take some of these notes down and stuff and like, you know, just kind of write how many down strums, what's changing where. So you might have to do that. You might have to rewind the video, you know, kind of go through some of these parts, really break it down because it is a little confusing. Um, so let me just play through that chord progression. Um, I'll go through it two times. So starting on Great Is Thy Faithfulness. So that's our bridge, and then if you wanted to just kind of um, keep playing with the, that's the main part of the song, and then it goes to kind of, you know, the flowy, spontaneous stuff. And how late Yahweh, and how late Yahweh. So you're just you're mainly stick on sticking on that post chorus chord progression of C G D G that one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four two three four one two three four one two three four two three four and just to add a little something on the end of this um spontaneous part um the second part of the song you're gonna just keep doing that chord progression until you get to um the last if you wanted to i mean you can just ride that out that g c or the c g d g if you wanted to um but if not you can go into the last um four times they do sing hallelujah Yahweh. You change the chord progression to So you're gonna go sing Hallelujah Yahweh Hallelujah Yahweh So it's gonna go E minor two three D C and I think that's probably a good place to land this plane. What a great song. I'll have the chord charts for this on my Patreon page. Link is in the description below. If you have questions on this, which you probably will, this is kind of a little confusing. Just as always, leave a mess, uh, leave a message, leave a leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're struggling with, what you have questions on. You know, I love kind of getting to know you guys here in the comments section on YouTube. So definitely do that. If you're new to the channel, make sure you head on over to the community tab. I've got some encouragement, some verses of the week. 
some live stream updates, some giveaways. Just gave away a guitar a couple weeks ago. So head on over there and let me, you know, say hello. Let me know how it's going. And I think that's a wrap. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.